First of all, don't give me crap for my shirt. This shirt was a gift. Okay, so hush. I'm literally sitting here wondering so many things. First of all, a terrible play calling. No, it's going to be a terrible game when Dan Bailey misses a kick. And did you hear the football? When it hit the goalpost, it sounded like rocks hitting something. It sounded so, so, so hard. All I kept thinking was, my God, when they're catching this ball from like 60 yards away, that probably hurts. I freaked out. I'm from Texas. The 50 degrees freaks me out, much less a hard as rocks football. That's gotta hurt. Pause. I'm trying to see if this camera still has film or if it still works. This is a Fujifilm Instax Mini 8 camera, in case anybody cares. And I'm about to see if it works. It's really cute. I use it for work sometimes. I mean, not for actual reporting, but for fun. Why am I talking about a camera? Okay, going back to the game. This game, both teams relied really, really heavily on their defenses because Eli Manning's offense just played atrociously. <laughs> that sounds funny to say, but um, I hate Odell Beckham because he's so damn good. And when somebody is that good, they have every right to celebrate the way that he does on the field. And isn't he dating Zendaya, who's flawless? So that guy's just winning at life. Um, New York's defense scared the hell out of the Cowboys' offense. They made Dak Prescott uncomfortable. He had two picks last night. I oh, it does work. Look, <laughs> that's funny. Ezekiel Elliott, I wanted to forgive you so badly after this game for bailing on the Rio Grande Valley in deep south Texas and not going to their holiday parade because a lot of people were really excited to see you and I wanted y'all to win this game to kind of help me forget that. But he still ran for 107 yards on Sunday night and that defense was kicking ass. So the fact that he did that was really, really cool. Not cool, it was really fucking amazing. Oh my god, I said a bad word. I'm so sorry. Try not to say bad words. Also, what happened with Lucky Whitehead, who apparently is going by his legal name of Rodney Whitehead now, so I didn't even know his name was Rodney. Um What happened? I heard that he was out partying the night before and got to a meeting late, but I also heard that he was out partying the night before with some some female and completely missed the meeting, so the fact that they left him home is hilarious. I mean, it sends a good message to the team that if your team is doing really, really well, you don't screw it up by going and partying. Dude, you can party at the end of the season. You guys have a pretty big gap between when the season ends and when the season starts again. So if you need to go out that much, then reset your freaking priorities, man. Think of this contract that you're getting. Think of the other people on the team. So I, I thought that that was a pretty pretty ballsy and decent move on on the coaching staff it reminded me a lot of when garrett benched barber for not wearing um a tux or something into like a team meeting or or something do y'all remember that that was in like 2011 so it's pretty well and then we all know what happened with two minutes and 13 seconds left in the game that defense held dallas to one conversion and 15 third down attempts dude 15 we saw it as Bryant fumble away that football. It was just such a terrible game. It, it, every team needs their wake up call, I guess. That's what people were saying. I'm not pissed off. I'm just disappointed. I, I don't like it when the Cowboys shoot themselves in the foot, and that's exactly what they did last night. And when you think about it, every Cowboys loss, every significant Cowboys loss, does go down to poor play calling, stupid mistakes by the players, and just. Just little things like this that add up to, I mean, this game should have been 21-0 to zero up until the first time that the Giants scored. And that's what pisses me off, is that it's little mistakes that continually add up, and eventually the Cowboys get beat in the ass, and people start making fun of them, people start making ridiculous comments about them. All these people who were hiding through this 11-game winning streak are now all of a sudden thinking that they're funny with their stupid comments. It's just annoying. It's, it's, it's annoying. And... I hate seeing little ass mistakes that could have been preventable cost them important games. This was, it wasn't even important to like get to playoffs because the Cowboys are already there. Just 
it's it's a fucking division game. You, you don't want to lose games like this. Last half full perspective, though, the Cowboys defense played incredibly well on Sunday night. Sunday night. <laughs> on Sunday night. I think Sean Lee set a franchise record with 22 tackles in a single game uh, for that loss. Whatever. I mean... Dude, the defense did so, so, so well. And the thing that scares me about next Sunday night is that Tampa Bay's defense is playing pretty scary right now, too. So if that offense is as piss poor as it was on Sunday night, that's going to be a little bit of an issue. But, oh, my God, that defense. That defense is making plays. I'm looking for tweets from Sunday night just to prove to everybody how fair weather the Cowboys fans are. I said it around Halloween that the second Dak makes one mistake, people are going to be calling for him to be benched, blah, blah, blah. So, I hate Dak. Always knew he sucked. Hate number four. Put in number nine. Bring back Romo. Bench Dak. Hated that kid. Jerry Jones, for whatever reason, they asked coaching advice um, of Jerry Jones, has made it perfectly clear that Dak Prescott is the quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys, not Tony Romo. And the only way that Tony Romo is going to get back on that field before the end of the season is if for whatever reason Dak Prescott cannot play. So keep those comments to yourselves and just hope for a better game against Tampa Bay. If Dallas's defense can keep this going, which I fully believe that they can, it's going to be very, very good. If Dallas's offense gets their shit together, learns from the mistakes that they made on Sunday night and goes up against Tampa Bay's very, very scary defense, it's going to be a very entertaining game. Also, what other team has had two Sunday night football games in a row? And they say they're not America's team. That was obnoxious of me. I don't care. But, um, yeah, I guess that's it. I mean, I, I don't really have much to say. We lost. So, um, but, yeah, go Cowboys. Go Cowboys.